Hello, welcome to the course of Cryptography and Network Security. To learn the course, the prerequisite concept which is needed to know is about the OSI layer. In this presentation, we will learn about the OSI layer, why there was a need to develop the model of the OSI layer, what were the difficulties faced by the network then to transfer the data from one computer to another. So let's begin with the introduction to OSI layer. These are the objectives which we will, we will be covering in this presentation. First, we will see how the data communication amongst the heterogeneous system was difficult and for these difficulties, how the solutions came into existence. OSI model becomes one of the solution for the communication amongst the heterogeneous systems. Once the OSI model was developed, why there was a need of the layered architecture? And then what were the issues faced by the designs of these layers of the OSI model? And then how the OSI model was completely developed with the seven layers. First, we will see what were the different network complexities were there before the OSI model for the data communication. The first complexity which was there is the different types of hardwares and software. Different computers were having different types of the hardware configuration. Different computers were having different types of the softwares. And this was one of the complexity for the network to communicate amongst the two machines. There were different operating systems. Different operating systems are there today also. But we needed a platform. We needed a protocol we needed a model which can work on all types of hardware configuration all types of the software all types of the different operating systems so that the communication of the data over the network should be proper should be error free also the other complexity was the data needs to be transferred in different formats that is it can be in the format of a text it can be an image it can be an audio, it can be a video. So there shouldn't be any difficulty in transferring these data formats without any error, right? So the data must be transferred without any error irrespective of the format in which the data is. Also, when the data needs to be transferred from one source to destination, it has to follow different paths. It has to hop among different parts. So there were many difficulties which was faced by data when it was about to transfer from one source to the other source. There were different data formats and the data exchange conventions were there which vary, which may vary between different manufacturers. The different Data formats we, which we are aware of are the ASCII, Unicode, EBCDIC, that is Extended Binary Coded Decimal Inter Interchange Code. We all are very much aware that whenever the computer functions, the computer doesn't function in the human acceptable format. Whatever the data is being provided by the human, computer then transfers that data into the machine language. And that is nothing but the different data formats the day and the data exchange conventions, which may vary between the different manufacturers of the machines. So we needed a flexible, we needed a robust model, which can then be implemented so that these type of complexities should be removed when the data has to be transferred over the network. 
right so what should be the solution for it so it was later observed that these difficulties can be resolved using only if the computers follow a certain set of common rules only if the computer follows certain set of protocols now what the protocol is it can be considered as a certain set of rules to be followed by two computers in order to exchange the messages it is as simple as that we have to be binded by some set of regulations to follow the transfer of data we have to be binded by certain set of protocols and these protocols will then make your data transfer easy this set of rules describes how the data is transmitted over the network so the solution then becomes a network model or what the model was a method of describing and analyzing data communication networks by breaking the entire set of communication process into a number of layers so then the development of osi model was started it was then decided by the set of scientists that we should have a model which should have the different set of layers to work upon every layer will be having its own functionality every layer will be responsible for transferring the data from one to other without having any error without having any complexity in transferring it so there comes the osi model that is open system interconnect this osi model was developed by international standard organization that is iso we all are very much aware of this standard organization which gives the different standards to be followed by the different networks to be followed by the different companies to work upon so this model was developed by the iso this is a reference model which is used for the communication in various types of networks this is the model of how the protocol should be followed for the networking components which could be made that means whatever the networking components are being uh, established or whatever the networking components are being made for the communication purpose amongst the two machines those all networking components have to follow these set of protocols to transfer the data right now why it is called the open system interconnect open means the concept is non proprietary it can be used by anyone that means whatever hardware configurations you have whatever softwares you have whatever operating system you have this open system interconnect will help you to transfer your data error free now it is not a protocol instead it is a model for understanding and designing a network architecture that is flexible and robust that means this network architecture should be implemented in any type of machine having any set of configuration of the hardware and software and any operating system to be continued with it describes how the data flows from one computer through a network to another computer so this particular osi model will provide you a platform to transfer your data from one machine to another machine through a network a network can be a wired network or a wireless network so the osi model divides the task involved with moving information between network networked computers into seven smaller or we can say into seven smaller more manageable subtasks a task is then assigned to each of the seven layers each layer is responsibly self contained 
so that the tasks assigned to each layer can be implemented independently. This model is designed in such a manner so that the layers of this model, the seven layers of these models, should implement their functionalities independently so that whatever the task is assigned to each layer, that task should be properly fulfilled in transferring the data from one layer to another, from one machine to another machine. So this model is reasonably considered as a self-contained model which then helps you to overcome all the complexities which were then faced by the network and to transfer your data from source to destination without having any difficulties. Thank you.